Okay, so there it goes. Here's the pump ion, kind of roughly plumbed in. So we've got a 4500 tank into the oops, macro line into the reg. Reg is set on about 100 just for now, just to test it all out and whatever, so I'm not wasting too much air. Comes up the reg, obviously into the front banjo. Front banjo goes into a two way to basically turn the air on and off. This is the MAV 2R from Clippard with a positionable inlet. Ooh, uh. um, then got some T fittings, obviously supplied the inlet. Um, not T fittings, and got some right angle fittings to supply the inlet and obviously to supply the outlet of the normally closed valve. I've got a T, which is a reducer to reduce one hose down to the SMAV 3R, which kind of is now the kind of the heart and soul of the gun. It's a tiny little valve. I mean, it is tiny, uh, and that is the trigger now. That's what will be obviously trigger activated, and this little, I say, little big bad boy here will be pump actuated. Um, so obviously from the T fitting, constant air, well, say constant, the air supplied from the air source is supplied into the donut, which in there we have a bolt from Gommy, which has got dual tail O-rings to seal off the rear dump chamber to allow enough air to actually fire the marker. Um, from the SMAV 3, obviously it's got a normally open inlet, uh, or normally open outlet, sorry, uh, which goes into a clippered QEV, um, which has obviously been plumbed into the front of the gun. Um, now, basically, obviously, what happens is, uh, let me see if I, yeah, that's empty. So, pump will charge the gun. What obviously, I haven't shown you yet is that moves the bolt backwards. And now, what happens is, is obviously, air comes into the fitting, goes through the normally open valve, so air is allowed to pass through these clear hoses into the front of the gun, so air pushes the bolt backwards. Air is also supplied to the rear, but because of the way the bolt is working, this is at this outbalances that, which moves the bolt backwards and holds it there. When you fire the SMAV 3, which should work, I've got a slight air leak, so that leak. What happens is, is air is dumped from here it comes back through the SMAV 3, it shuts it off and opens this port here, which is obviously vents to the atmosphere. So all the gas you lose just comes out of here, so it vents the front portion, which allows the bolt to move forward. The bolt moves forward, picks up a ball, puts it in the barrel, um, and because again, because the way ions work, when it gets to a certain position, air is then allowed to escape through the face of the bolt to fire the ball. Um, now, as I said, I do have a slight leak in this, uh, which is more because I am using an old ion body, old ion O-rings, which need just some general attention, really. So, the general idea is, as you can see down the breech, okay, pump the gun, bolt moves back, and by the gun, bolt moves forward. Now, let's see, it's back, um, and obviously when you press this, if you hold it, the bolt will stay forward, you will obviously a bit of thing, but then of course as soon as you let go of the trigger, it only moves back a little bit, so it has turned it into a sort of closed bolt mark, but not truly because obviously the bolt or, or doesn't stay forward, uh, whether there's something I can do introducing a check valve or a quicker exhaust um, a different valve perhaps a pulse valve to deliver a predetermined amount of air to allow the bolt to stay forward perhaps uh, I'm not too sure but at the minute I'm kind of happy with it I haven't tested it with paint yet which I probably really should do but I'm just kind of happy it works at the moment so let's see pump and fire obviously the dwell of the bolt, so as the bolt will stay forward, is controlled by the SMAV 3. Um, the idea is that obviously a trigger pull is, is going to be, you know, a short tap. It's a reasonably light pull on the trigger. So we'll see, about four ounces, I think, that one. Uh, this is a lot more sort um, to. Yeah, it requires a lot more force to pump it, but obviously that will be sitting. 
hopefully about here in a rail and a pump arm will come along pump that and then obviously you're ready to so there we go